Hi everyone, this is the group Go Girls. We are working for Natoya Anderson Immigration Services, a company based in Toronto who provides immigration services to Jamaica in the Caribbean. For this presentation, we will speak about these four points, the proposed and objectives of our project, secondary and primary research insights found, solution and recommendation to reach our goals, and we will show you some marketing assets and metrics to measure our desired goals. For this project, we have three different goals and objectives, which are increased brand awareness, increased consultation or services, and attract new customers. <clears throat> we have uh, found three different important insights for each of these points for our secondary research. For the first one, target market research, we found out that the most popular and used social media in Jamaica are Facebook and Instagram. Therefore, we will focus on this to uh, for this project. For the immigration service field, we, um, we found out that the most people who come to Canada from the Caribbean are IT, Trinidad and Tobago, and Jamaica. And lastly, for the competitor research, we found out that some of Natoya's competitors provide a free assessment before consultation. This is a very important aspect because it raises awareness for the brand. We're well, moving to the primary research insights, uh, we conducted the experts interviews and client interviews. The experts interview insights are that the decision, ultimate decision maker and the geographical area of target markets play a very important role in deciding the marketing channel. For instance, if India, in India, the decision maker is parents. So the, the target market usually are on print media rather than uh, in comparison to the North American cities where children are going to take decision and they are on the digital media. Then for, as it is a trust-based service, so long-term success is also very important for any immigration company. Uh, moving to the client's interview, peer in, uh, it is based on the three Ps, that is peer influence, friends and families, price as do clients compare the price before taking the services and personalization. One of the reason companies move to Natoya is the, uh, the clients move to Natoya immigration service company is the one-to-one -one conversation with Natoya's herself. So moving to the solutions and recommendations for brand building, we are conducting social media posts and ads on Instagram and Facebook. And then we are cleaning up the LinkedIn profile for adding the trust and, uh, trust and credibility factor in her profile and then brand story and loyalty section in the landing page of the company so that people can come and know about her, her own story. Then for lead generations, we are uh, we are leveraging her already ongoing campaign that is Webnias. Then we are using email campaign for uh, two email campaigns separately for one for who sign up of the Webnias and attended it. And one who didn't sign up for the web, who sign up for the webinars but didn't attend the webinars, and then list nurturing time to time sales promotions, uh, to to give a to give an urgency or to people to uh, come and uh, take the notorious immigration services. Then for reference, we have email campaign that would be a thank you mail for the customers to taking the services and the testimonials that will be posted on Instagram and Facebook pages. For a marketing asset, uh, we have created some social media posts and ads for Facebook and Instagram. So as you can see um, at the screen, there are there is one that is uh, for a Christmas holiday post. So we're planning to create like a different post for different holidays during the year. And there's another one we, uh, which we are going to create uh, to promote the webinars. Next slide, please. So for email uh, campaigns, we have created some email campaigns through MailChimp. The first one, we have created one for uh, to send um, to the people who registered to the webinars. Basically, uh, they um, we're going to send this email to show uh, Natoya Anderson profile. So what what, the, uh, what she does, like her degrees, like uh, her experience, so people can know exactly um, who she will, uh, who will um, go with. And the second email campaign that we have is just to promote the webinars. So so for the landing page, uh, from an analysis of the competitors, we noticed that Natoya's competitors use assessments to generate leads, so which is why we centered our campaign around Natoya's 
webinars, which she also uses to generate leads. So the difference between the landing page and the home page is that the landing page introduces two new sections. The first section being video marketing. This is a video of Natoya speaking to the website visitors, letting them know why they should pick an agency over doing it themselves and why they should pick Visa Help over competitors. While the other section is for brand story. So you see Natoya shares a unique story, a unique experience and story, which we, I, we believe would be able to connect with our audience because she was once on a student permit in Canada, eventually got her citizenship, and now she returned to Jamaica to help other people do the same. We believe this is a story that's going to connect with people that people interested in relocating, and it's going to help build trust and credibility to the brand. So for the marketing calendar, we created a calendar we posting social media once a week one webinar a month and two newsletters a month. So before each webinar, we're gonna have two weeks of ads running, search ads and display ads. And after each webinar, we're gonna send out a thank you mail to the people that attended with a CTA to uh, book a consultation. And these consultations would have like a limited time discount, probably less than a week, just to give them a sense of urgency to convert. And for the people that signed up for the webinar but did not attend, there's gonna be a, a newsletter sent to them regarding upcoming uh, upcoming webinars. So for the marketing metrics, we'll be measuring the success of our campaigns, our campaigns using these metrics. For awareness, we'll be looking at social media engagements, website traffic, and pay-per-click ads. So we'll be looking at the reach, reach from pay-per-click ads. While for lead generation, we'll be looking at the number of leads that sign up for the webinars. We'll be looking at the webinar attendance rates and we'll also be looking at the conversion from the webinars. And then for referrals, we'll be looking at the number of referrals, number of conversions that came through referrals. So awareness will be measured monthly, lead generation monthly, while referrals will be measured every six months. Thank you.